product we tend to always show is this microphone right here. And the good thing is, is that it's currently on sale today. It was on sale yesterday as well. I got slightly tempted to jump on stream just in case the sale ended. But we've we kind of left it a little bit. We've double checked and we are still on a sale with it at the moment as well. Now, where's my little B-roll? There we go, getting the top corner. She was hissing when I opened the door, woken her up. Nice. Yeah, just leave her in there. She's fine if she's in there, in the cupboard. Right, let me turn my music down a little bit in my ear, because it's amazingly loud. It's gone a little bit too quiet now, I can't hear anything. But yes, our first product is the Fine Fine K6 8 microphone. So you'll see in the top corner here, this was a little short video that we did where you can kind of see the dimensions. We do test the audio in that video, but to be fair, you can hear it live right now. Now, this is running through XLR. It comes with both XLR and USB-C connections on it, which means that if you don't have a mixing desk like the Go XLR Mini, which I will kindly show you. So if you haven't got a, a mixing desk like that, sorry, trying to hold this tripod with one hand is a lot more difficult than what I thought it would be. So if you don't have a mixing desk, you don't need one because you can connect it through the included USB-C cable. USB-C into the back of the mic, USB-A into your computer PC. We're working PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. You get audio monitoring on this as well, which basically means you can plug a set of earphones in or headphones and just monitor the audio. Make sure that you're coming through nice and crisp. Oh. Is everything back to... Yes, everything is peaceful now. Now the cat has been found. I mean, she couldn't have got far. We haven't got like a cat flap for her to escape. So she would have been here somewhere. Just a matter of finding her. Now, you don't get a stand with this microphone. You literally get the microphone in its shock mount. You get all the cables you need. You get a converter as well to mount it onto a boom arm. Or you can mount it onto a stand like... This Samsung MD5, I believe the model number is, that is in our product carousel. Serious heavy duty stand. It's, uh, yeah, very heavy. So if you've got like a very cheap microphone, you can put it on there and it basically transforms it into something a lot more robust. So you will need a stand or a boom arm to mount this, but you do get the converter in the box, so you're good to go. This is your audio quality through the XLR connection. The only filter I've got on this is a compressor, which basically prevents me really from peaking. And if I'm speaking very quietly, it tries to bring that audio level up. So we're kind of level. Apart from that, there's no other filters on this mic. This is everything through the XLR connection. Now, let me see if I've still got the USB set up. <clears throat> I have. So this should be the USB connection now that you can hear. So this is your audio completely straight out of the box. Plug in the USB cable into your PC, Mac, PS4, PS5. Doesn't work in Xboxes, so do bear that in mind if you were interested in this and you wanted it for an Xbox. I think there is a workaround to get it to actually work using the Xbox app on a PC. You'd have to check out YouTube videos for that though. <clears throat> so this is your raw audio through USB. It's too warm. Mate, it is too warm. Do you know what? I've got a little fan right here, which I've currently got hooked around uh, my drawers. I've got a USB fan here, which I did have on, but I've turned it off for this stream just so you can kind of hear the microphones. Would be a good test, actually. Let's put it back on. Right, how loud is that through the microphone? Looking at my OBS, it actually looks pretty good, but you can't hear too much. Should be able to hear a little bit though. But how you doing, Gaul? You all good, buddy? Okay, I've gone back to XLR now. Yeah, you should be able to hear the fan a little bit through my XLR. You can't hear it. Can you hear it now through XLR? You can hear it now. That's because I've got the compressor enabled. So basically what he's trying to do is level everything off. So if I speak too loud, it'll bring my voice down a little bit. If I'm too quiet, it's going to boost it. But in doing so, 
It's also going to boost the fan noise. About to go off horse riding. That is... I'll tell you what, I didn't have that on my bingo card. <laughs> horse riding. Tremendous. I got on the back of a horse once and thought, I don't like it up here. I got off immediately. I don't even remember where that was, who I was with, but I remember getting on the back of a horse, feeling very uncomfortable, thinking, this must be hurting the horse, and I got off. But yeah. So I didn't actually go horse riding, I just got on the back of a horse. Saw its leg starting to buckle a little bit, and I thought, yeah, I probably need to get off him. Yeah, so as we said, let's do one more time the old <coughs> super sale. So this is currently on offer. This is $62.99. Which I'll be honest, is actually a really good price for this mic. There you are, you're right, Calvin. Yeah, apparently it's one the the 2023, if design award as well. But yeah. There's the back of the mic, so you get your XLR connection, USB-C, audio monitoring, you get your two dials as well to control the audio monitoring and the gain on the microphone itself. Oh yeah, you do get the mute button as well, which will work through USB. If you're running it through a mixing desk, then your mixing desk takes over. So even if you mute it by that button, you'll still come through because your mixing desk is controlling it through the XLR. So that is basically for USB. But $62.99. Bargain. Now, this only comes in the one colour. A lot of the other microphones we've got, you've got a selection of colours that you can choose. This one is literally just the black version. Wondering where you was. I haven't seen this to refresh my page. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I was actually talking to you as well. I thought you were, were here. My bad. But welcome, Calvin. God, I tell you what, it is warm. It is very warm. I've literally just come back from the gym as well, had a little walk to the cash points, come back, had a shower, made the rookie mistake thinking I'll put some jeans on. That was a really bad idea. It is so warm. Right, so there's your fine, fine K688. We may come back to this mic as the stream progresses. But let me go to my, my little wireless microphone because you know i like this one that's some funny stuff how are we doing buddy let's get your name on the stream oosh there you are better than yesterday yeah it is a lot cooler today than it was yesterday yesterday was an l scorchio it was so hot and mate when you're bald like me the, the sun is not great right let's remove that ticker let's put our little wireless ticker on which is the m6 isn't it Let's go over to our little wireless microphone. Here we are, the old wireless mic. Rocking and rolling now. So this is my favourite wireless microphone that I own. Just because it's so small and compact, it is really good. I love it. Now this is currently $29.99. Absolute bargain for this. So let me give you a close up so you can see what it actually looks like. So here we are, all made of plastic. We have our little clip on the back there to attach it to yourself, or you can just hold it like this and chat into it like most people do on TikTok these days. Little blue light to say that we are on. When it's a static blue light, that means it's found the wireless connection. It's basically working. If that's flashing, it just means there's an issue with your little USB dongle, which you do get with this. We have the power button on the side as well. That actually doubles up as a mute button. So when you're pressing it goes red. That means that you are muted. HT, hello buddy. Welcome to the stream mate. How is life? Gonna reflect more sunlight than the moon, mate, honestly. Not good for a bald man. Bought the fine fine A6 very Oh, thank you. That is very kind of you. I've actually got it down here. I will actually show it on stream today as well. Now, this tends to go on offer as well. So I do have the A6V. Very good microphone. It really is for how cheap it is. It's outstanding. 
and we will get that on the stream. But there we are. Let's get your little comment on stream as well. Thank you for getting yourself involved. Oh, God, so hot. But yes, this wireless microphone. Let me get an image on Amazon so you can see what you get with it. There's actually a new version of this that's come out as well. So here we are, the M6. So currently $29.99. Serious bargain for how good this sounds. Now, this is your little receiver on the left-hand side. And it's USB-C. So plug it into the bottom of your mobile phone. It just works. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S21. Plug it in. Works immediately. Don't need to mess about with anything. Now, you'll notice, can you see my little cursor there? We have a USB-C on the side of that as well. Now, that's got two functions. You can either have it so you can plug your charger in and it charges your phone up whilst using the wireless mic, or you can plug in some USB-C earphones or headphones and actually monitor the audio from this. Seriously, it is very good. So we get up to 65 feet of range. I don't know anybody who would go any further than that away from like a mobile phone they're recording from. And that's basically what it looks like in your mobile phone. It will work with iPhones. You don't get converters in the box with this. I believe you need two converters. So you, I think you need like an original Apple Lightning to USB-C or something like that. But I'm pretty sure you need two converters, but it will work. Just as, as a little bit of kind of messing about to get it working. But yes, six hours of battery life as well from a full charge. And on the bottom, I never showed you the bottom, did I? USB-C. So on the bottom of the mic there, USB-C connection. Charge it up. Literally takes probably like an, an hour or so to fully charge from, from empty. Can't stick around, got plans. HC, that is not a problem, mate. There is a... Oh, there's an iOS version for this microphone. Is there really? Now, they have just released another version of this where it's identical, but you get an additional microphone. So if you do any kind of interviews, you can actually have two mics with a one receiver. Now, let me see if I can find that. Now, I... There it is. There it is. So there we are. Pretty much identical, but you get two mics. And that one is called the M8. The one you're looking at now is the M6. So if you do any kind of interviews, the M8 is the way to go because you get the two mics. M6, just one microphone. Which I will attach it back to myself. My very sweaty t-shirt, which I've just put on fresh, which is not going to last very long. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, oh, I've just noticed another super sale. Super sale, oosh. Anything for me to put that on the screen. Have a look for the full life. Is this the one you mentioned in the previous stream? I think I put it in my watch list. Let me just have a quick look. Full aim X. Is it an X5 or are you saying it's five times cheaper? Oh no, X5, there we are. I've got one that is £109. Well, that is looking on eBay. Oh, sorry, yeah, cheaper than the Rode. Yeah, I've got the first Rode Wireless Go. Which I do actually need to find out where I've put that. Any plans on reviewing the new Rode Wireless Pro? Not sure yet, mate. I did want to review the the next one up. So the Wireless Go 2, which has been out for a while now. Then I think they released another one after that. And they've just released like an even newer version. But we'll see. Might drop Rode an email. Say, like, Rode, what, what can we do? But uh, yeah, I do remember you mentioning the full aim, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, full aim microphones. Because I did definitely put it in a watch list. But yeah, I was just saying about a super sale because 
the Insta360 link is $254.99, down from $300, which is quite possibly the best webcam known to man. And I think I've got it set up without me going to the actual app, which is this one right here, which I'm hoping it sorts out the exposure for me a little bit there. So I do look slightly overexposed. But if not, I can manually mess about with this. Oosh, there we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get my little wheel down. There we are. So what you're looking at there is the Insta360 Link webcam, which I keep looking at the main camera when I should be looking at this one. The new version of the Rode just released last week. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that Blackburn cushion looks nice. It does, doesn't it? Look at it, beautiful. Shall I go and grab it? Oh, I'm, I'm missing a trick here. I could actually be tracking myself doing this. Oosh, there we are, that's better. There we are, the good old Blackburn Rovers cushion. Beautiful. Oh. Now I think, I think it kind of lost the tracking when I put the cushion up. Are you tracking me or not? Come on, play the game. There we are. Oosh, beautiful. Look at that epic webcam. It is actually a, a very good webcam. So this is your Insta360 link. Now, it is expensive for a webcam. I am not going to debate that at all. It's currently $255. Normally $300. So you are getting quite a saving, but you do get some really nice features that you don't get with many other cameras. This being one of them, which is the, the tracking, which to be fair, it looks like he's, he's not one, not wanting to track me today. Maybe it's just a little bit warm. He's thinking, nah, Mandy, I don't fancy tracking you. Go on, give me the old 05. There we are. Go on, play the game. What if I come down here? Hello. Back up here. Hello. Come around here. Hello. Yeah, he's, he's having a think. So he's just not tracking me today. He don't like me. So cancel the track, give me a track. Go on, track me, there's my high five. Nah, he don't like me today. Insta360, is that enough? I've got a feeling it could be that it's, um, cause it's just caught the top of my monitor. That tends to kill me a little bit there. So let me drag him round. Oosh, there we are. Sorry, I've just got your message on the screen as well, how to. So how is the hip pain, Andy? It is still sore, but I've started playing football again. So I played on Friday, which is a more intense game, and it was like 32 degrees. It was ridiculous. I shouldn't have played. I'm playing again tomorrow, so I'm trying to get back into it, but I can't kind of really strike the ball like I used to because I just think it's going to go. If anybody watched the, you know, the charity football game yesterday with the side men versus like YouTubers, there was that chap in midfield, Theo Baker. I think he's done something kind of similar, like he's just had a hip operation, so he hasn't been able to play. And he did what I'm trying not to do, which was seriously strike the ball really hard, and his hip went again. So, I don't want to be doing that. So I'm just trying to get the ball. Old Barcelona style, what was it, Tiki Taka or whatever they used to call it, just knocking it around, nice and steady. That's what I need to do. Hello, sweetie. How are you? I hope you are well. We was just looking for my cat, sweetie. We couldn't find her. But she's decided to hide in the cupboard and chill out in there. The, in the Insta is a bit exhausted. But yeah, HT, I'm, I'm all right, mate. I'm, I think I'm on the mend. I mean, even when I did it, I could still kind of walk and jog around. It was anything like full sprint and kind of swinging my leg forwards and backwards. But I'm, I'm all right. I, in the back of my mind, I kind of feel like it could still go at any moment when I play football. So I'm doing my best to kind of not injure myself, basically. I'm the the brummy Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola, I am. We look very similar. It would suit, yeah. It would, mate. I think if I go into, 
into management, then I'll have to base myself on Pep, won't I? Two bald men. That could be a TV show, couldn't it? Two bald men. Sorry that I'll keep grabbing my drink as well. I'm just oh, so warm, actually, do you? But yeah, the Insta360 link. So normally on the stream, I show you the actual software itself, but I'm trying to do it directly through OBS so you get the full screen version of everything that we can do. So let me drag this to this screen so at least my eyes are kind of towards the camera. You've got full control of stuff like autofocus. I've never had to mess around with that with this webcam. It's been awesome, it really has. I've just noticed there's a new feature on here as well, which I've never seen before. It must have just come on a new update. Let me just go to my other screen and show you this. Okay, now because I've not got the app completely loaded up, we have this little bar here where we can control stuff like autofocus, never needed to. I've just noticed we've got this remote controller here where we can scan that and we can start controlling the actual camera with a mobile device. So as long as your mobile is on the same network as your PC, we can actually start controlling it through a phone, which actually sounds pretty good to be fair. Now that is a brand new feature that's just come out. Mm. I've only, I saw, was it 4-1 in the end? I only saw the one goal on Twitter where everybody was slating, uh, is it Rudiger at the back for not tracking back? Got to keep hydrated. I have got to keep hydrated. The thing is, is that I'm drinking that so quickly. I need to get myself another one. But I think we're running very low on ice cubes. Now, some good features we've got, which I did try to show, but I think the heat is killing us, is we've got auto tracking which I think is going to track me quite well when I'm here. But I think when I start moving around, so it, in the ideal world, it should track me wherever I go. So if I stand back here, oh, it looks like it might be working again there. Yeah, oh. oh, no, 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 it's coming. It's coming slowly. Yes, I think the heat's killing this today. So this is basically just tracks us wherever we go. So we can move around. So if you do any kind of teaching, anything like that, really good for online teaching because we can walk around on a Zoom call. Great, lovely. Now, if you are a teacher, you actually get a whiteboard mode as well, which I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll give it a go. It did work the last stream. Now, why I think it might not work is because the board's supposed to kind of be behind you, but I've got this at an angle and it's basically very difficult for the webcam to see it but let's give it a go let me turn my tracking off full name is also known as the the, the malada x5 in some regions same company a different oh okay i will bear that in mind dude so here's my little board up here and my mashup picture as well which i do need to change so uh whiteboard mode Give it a go. Now you will see that we've got tracking points on that whiteboard. Now the camera is kind of going around because it's trying to find these four tracking points, which are on the corner of that whiteboard. Now, as I say, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm wondering if it's to do with the red lights I've got, whether it's just not liking that. But you do really want... Oh, there we are. It's actually done it. So there we are. Listen IP vo vocal on eBay. And we've got some sizes there as well. So if you are teaching on stuff like Zoom, it's actually very good for stuff like that because you can get it to completely focus on a whiteboard, which is very nice. But ideally, you do want the whiteboard kind of like behind you here. So I'm actually a little bit surprised it's just worked. It's, he was searching. He was. That was like me when I go to the cupboards looking for some chocolate. I was just searching high and low. Now, other features we've got, we've actually got a zoom function as well. So if you give it like this L shape, and then we start going up, it should zoom in. But I, like I say, I think temperature is just not going to make it work. So if you do an L in a much cooler environment, 
it should start zooming in as we go up and zoom down. Not really doing very well with this webcam, are we, in this stream? We also have a whole overhead mode where if you've got yourself a tripod, you can basically do an overhead view. If you want to mount it onto a screen like we have, we have a desk view mode where it will point down 45 degree angle and then you can basically show off whatever you want. This mode though, you'll notice that, can you see how long this microphone's got now? So things look a little bit elongated in this view, which is my only criticism. I love the idea of being able to kind of point downwards without me physically grabbing it and moving the head. So it does have some good things going for it. We do get digital zoom as well. The more we zoom in, expect a loss in quality. But you do have the option to zoom as well. We get our other features as well where we can start messing about with exposure and stuff like that. So we've got our zoom, auto tracking, whiteboard, change your tracking speeds. When you want it to zoom in, you want it to just zoom in on your head. Half your body or the whole body. I tend to leave it on full body. But that's a very quick rundown of your Insta360 link. Just don't use it in a baking hot room. Now some features might not work. Amateur weather. 26 from the indoors is close to 29. I've not got like a thermometer or anything indoors to give me an idea of how hot it is in here. Calvin would probably leave it on half body. That's a good shout, to be fair. I think head. Because I think with head as well, it has to do more of a zoom in, so you do lose that little bit of quality as well. So half body would be a good shout. I think the whole body, just because it doesn't need to zoom, kind of makes things look as crisp as what they possibly can be. Now that webcam is actually 4K at 30 frames per second. You can do 1080p at 60. You can flip it into vertical mode as well if you want to shoot any footage for TikTok or YouTube, anything like that. Just having a quick look, see what's on a, a sale. Okay, the old beautiful Ulanzi is on a super sale. Where am I? It's 37 degrees, feels normal. Mate, how do you cope with that? See, us people in Britain, we struggle with temperature. Did you get a new earphone? Oh, I haven't. I was trying to repair those and I, I cocked it up. I've got another pair of those earphones which have broken again. I have to keep wiggling it around to try and get the audio through. So I might try and take the head off that, see if I can actually repair those. I can't see that I would though if I couldn't repair the first lot, but we'll see. Where's my Ulanzi? Here it is. They say every stream bailed me out of trouble this has, this little tripod. And it does, let me move that out of the way. Get out of the way. So this tripod completely made of plastic. It's made by a company called Ulanzi who seem to be creating a lot of really good products. I've seen quite a lot of their things pop up and I'm like, ooh, I could do with that, you know. Now, not just a normal tripod as well. We do have the, the ball head feature. I remember my first tripod, I didn't have a ball head on there. Could literally put my camera on and I had to unscrew it, I could go Basically, I couldn't get the angles like I can with this. Now, if I film at my brother's house, I always forget my tripod. Don't know why. So I normally keep this in my laptop bag. It is small enough to fit in there. Legs fold out. So we can just stand it up. Now, I wasn't aware when I had this that that extends. Didn't know that. Extends like really far as well. I thought that was a tripod. Didn't have a clue that it extended. Knew about the ball head, but I also didn't know that that flipped open and allowed you to put a mobile phone in there. Did not know that. So I've created a video on this and I was putting a mobile phone converter on there, screwing it in, putting a phone in, without realizing that that actually flips open and allows you to put a phone in. 
silly Andy. Here we are, put my phone in. I can do some, some vlogging, some filming. Which is very good because you could pair that up with a microphone like this. And you could go out vlogging. You could basically set this up in a static position so you've got some very steady footage. Now, this is not a gimbal. So if you are vlogging with this, which you can do, I'll show you. I will show you that you can vlog with this. Let me get my phone back. Tell us a story, Andy. Which story, man? I like telling stories. Yeah, remind me, man. Remind me which story. There we are. So I can screw this in and I can just go around vlogging. Beautiful. Nice little wireless microphone. Nice little uh, little tripod there. Now, it, like I say, it doesn't come inbuilt with like a gimbal where you've got the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like for the steady footage. Stabilization, doesn't have like inbuilt stabilization. So you will rely on your phone having that to keep your footage steady if you do use it as though you are vlogging. But maybe you Lanzi could create one that does have stabilization built in. But a very good tripod. Like I say, it bailed me out loads. Good smartphone plus the Insta gimbal round mic. You might, that'll be a quality setup if I can get that on stream there. The story about the tripod you've told us. What about it? It's about me not um, realizing that I could do that and all that good stuff. Sorry, lost vlog. Welcome, dude. How you doing, mate? Welcome back. I believe you came in the last stream. I recognize your name. You should try reviewing the Rode Wireless Pro and the Insta smartphone gimbal. Maybe I will, HT. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll drop a few emails. See if we can sort us out. But yes, very good. So keep an eye out for Ulanzi. The seem, like I say, they seem to be creating a lot of things that I look at and I'm like, do you know what, that's genius. I could do with one of those. But that was actually a very good purchase. I'm really pleased that I did buy that. Makes it personal relatable. I mean, I'm happy to tell stories all day long. My stories normally involve me getting injured. <laughs> that's how good my stories are. Oh, do you know I've not shown for a while as well, Calvin? Oh. You lucky people, you're in for a treat now. Oh God, I'm so sweaty, it's disgusting. You know what it means when we pull the, the old guitar out? Oosh. Oh, now bear with me because I, I just, I haven't played guitar for ages. But then I saw these on the shelf and I was like, oh, do you know what? I need to show these off. So what I might do is go back to my XLR mic because I'm bound to knock this little wireless mic while I'm trying to do this. Hello, hello. Let's bring that bad boy back over. Now, this is, this is gonna be absolutely horrendous, but I'm gonna show you. I have got, let me put my guitar down. I'm getting, I'm jumping the gun. I'm getting overexcited. Chuck that bad boy back there. We have got these little bad boys. So if you play a guitar, have you ever kind of stumbled over your, your guitar cable? So I know I have. Nearly broke my neck on it. I'll hook you up sometimes. Mate, I'm going to drop the email. Evelyn, hello. Thanks for showing these. Going to watch again. Starting to look for something. No problem at all, Evelyn. Thank you for stopping by. Very much appreciated. If you see anything that you think, oh, I'd quite like to see that. The ping comment. The ping comment should send you to Amazon Live where you can see our carousel of products because we probably won't show all of them. But if there is anything in particular you like, actually, I'd quite like to see that. Do let me know. I will happily find it out and show you. 
Yes. So are these little bad boys. This removes the need for that cable on your guitar. No more tripping over and breaking your neck. So these are little wireless dongles. They basically send the signal from the guitar to the amp. So you can deafen the audience on the guitar. I will show you these in action. Now they do charge. Let me come to this camera. It would make more sense. They do charge through micro USB. You get the cable in the box for these. There's literally no kind of setup for these. If I switch that on, switch that on. And you'll see we've got this green light on the side. There we are. They are now static. How long was that? Probably like a second or so. They are paired now. So we are ready to play guitar with these. Now I always forget which goes into which. Now I believe the, the black one goes into my guitar. Oh, so close. Monster support. Dude, thank you so much. Let me get you on stream, man. Is he going to let me put you on stream? Hang on. There we are. Thank you for becoming a channel member and wanting to support. Very much appreciated. So I believe my silver one goes into your amp. Now I'm just using this really small mini amp. Oh, it's popped up on screen as well. Beautiful. Now do bear in mind, the audio is not going to sound great from this tiny amp. But it's also a little wireless amp as well. So if you just want to go in practicing, nice little wireless amp like this. Hansi Flick just got sacked for, by Germany. Is this because they lost to Japan? Let's get one in the, the guitar. Oh, let's turn it on. Now, I will let you know as well that this wireless amp is quite hissy as well. You can probably hear that without me playing anything. See how hissy that is? So it's not great. But now, this allows me to just wander around and have a little play with the guitar. Let me get rid of that. Oh, beautiful. So no more tripping over cables. I can walk around, pretend I'm a rock star, but really I need lung head and I so I can kind of head bang. That looks so good when you've got yourself a bald head like that. Oh, a bit rubber. There we are, beautiful. So yes, no more falling over. Yes, Ben, how are we doing? Thunder and lightning couldn't even, even take the horses out. That's oh mate, no horse riding. That is gutting. Benny's not here, but Benny's great. When are you going to band together? Nah, I'm not good enough to play in a band. Forgot how to play. We got absolutely soaked. Oh, not good. Actually, what's the weather like here? See, not too bad. I had a walk to the gym and it was spitting me rain. So I avoided it. How is your team doing? I think my team's doing all right. You're not even... Mate, you're right. I'm not good enough at football. I'm old. I'm bald. Broken peach. I don't know what broken peach is. I can actually do... Um, Clean mode on this as well, I think. I can, yeah, a bit of clean. I think my guitar's out of tune though. That's enough of that. So yeah, basically, it will allow you to play wireless guitar. 
So I'm a big fan of these little wireless dongles. They are great. Do you know what? I probably should charge them. I don't even think I've charged them since I've had them. So battery life is decent. God, I'm so sweaty. So sweaty. So let me plug my silver wizard in the back of there, weren't it? They're abandoned. We've seen just like the other ones. Yeah, Eric Clapton. That's the one. Yeah, so these little wireless mic, wireless mic, little wireless dongles for your guitar. They are great. Now these are what we're showing at thirty-eight dollars sixty-two. Quite a cheap price to save you from breaking your neck out of guitar cables. Very useful. So yes, I am a, a big fan of those. I like them. Good job we brought the towels. Right. Let's show you another little microphone. Right, somebody did jump in the stream earlier. It was on about one of the cheapest mics that we've got. So I will show you that one in action. Which is... You know what? I think I grabbed the wrong microphone as well earlier. So our little fine fine A6V. Now, this is the... One of the cheapest mics that we've got. So let me find my... Actually, I'll, I'll manually show you it. Oh, my watch is, needs charging. Yes, how we doing, dude? I forgot how to pronounce your name again. Civil. Xville. I don't know, I forgot how to pronounce you. I know you did tell me the last stream as well. So, uh, fine, fine. Xville, there we are. Got it right second time. Here is our little fine fine A6V. Let me go back to my wireless mic just whilst I show you this. Right, that's better. So this is a USB microphone, USB-C into the back, USB-A into your computer, your PS4 or PS5. We get the pop filter, we get the shock mount, we have volume control for the microphone. No audio monitoring on this, so there's literally just the one connection there for the USB. Comes in its own little stand, which is a little bit flimsy, I won't lie to you. So we are fixed in that position. But you can unscrew this, and it is a 5 8 of an inch thread on the bottom, which means you can mount it onto another stand. You can put a converter in there as well and mount it onto a boom arm, unless your boom arm has a 5 8 of an inch thread. In, in that case, you don't need a converter. You are good to go. We've got some nice little RGB lights on the front as well. Now, you've got no control whatsoever over those RGBs. So, the colour sequence you see there is literally what you get. You can turn them off by muting the microphone. So you are kind of limited to having them on to know your microphone is active. If we mute the mic, lights completely go off, which for me personally, I actually prefer that, that the lights go off so I know that I am muted. But let's have a little audio test so you can have yourself a listen to it. Hello, hello, hello. This is your Fine Fine A6V microphone. Now, this is currently... $34.99. Let me check on Amazon. Make sure there's no price drops. A6V. Let's have a little look. And we have got $34.99 for the black version. $35.99 for blue. $35.99 for pink. $35.99 for white. $34.99 for red, which looks very pink to me. So, a very cheap microphone. It's one of those mics that if you currently don't have a mic, you're using the inbuilt one on a webcam or a laptop, I would seriously consider this microphone because it's going to be a massive leap over your inbuilt microphone. And if you're into something like streaming and you're just getting into it, I never recommend going for something that's amazingly expensive just in case it's something that you just don't want to pursue. You've given it a go. You're like, you know what, it was alright, but I don't really fancy kind of turn it into a career. 
I always recommend going for something that's fairly cheap but delivers a really good kind of audio experience. And I think you actually get it with this microphone. Ah, oh, look at Calvin. What an absolute legend. You are a very good man, Calvin. But yeah, what do we think of the audio on this? Like I say, $35. It normally goes on offer as well. I think it's good. You get your RGBs as well. Nice and colourful. You can unscrew the side here and actually tilt it forwards and backwards. I have it tilted slightly upwards rather than straight onto my mouth. Really because it helps eliminate plosives. Because if I'm speaking directly into the capsule, especially the way I speak, I kind of like spit and stutter. It's not very nice. That goes all into the microphone. Not good. Not good for the viewers. So I tend to have it tilted slightly backwards. So when I speak, it goes kind of across the top of the microphone. That's some great audio. See, I think it sounds good as well. I know AMU comes in the streams. This is their favourite microphone. And it's like $35. Absolute bargain. I mention it every stream. I love where the positioning is of the volume control on this. So let's go over here. So my volume control is on the bottom of the microphone. I really do like that. So I'm not reaching around the back, twizzling a knob that I can't see. I can see exactly where my audio level is with it on the bottom there. I find it amazing that they can produce a microphone that sounds this good with these features like pop filters, you get a stand, it's in a shock mount for like $35. They must surely be losing money on this mic. I think it sounds that good. But uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Now we've got the, the Big Brother version. I'll just skim over it very quickly. So it looks very similar to this one, your A6V, but this is the A8 microphone. Now, a couple of different in features. This one is slightly taller. You've got a more robust stand on this one as well, which I will show you. So here's your stand. We've got a little bit of rubber on the bottom, so it's not going to cause scratches if you move it around on your desk. You also get audio monitoring on this one, which you don't get on the one you're listening to right now. Which, to be fair, I probably should put a ticker on, shouldn't I? So you know what you're listening to. You get the shock mount. You get the pop filter. We get the RGB lights, which you have full control over. So we do have a button on the back that we can press and we can toggle through all the different colours. You also get a mode which is very similar to this one, where it will blend colours together. And you also get the additional mode of the static colour, but it will rotate through each of the static colours that are available on this mic. Now, time for us to have a listen into it. Let me flick it. Hello, hello, hello. This is your fine, fine A8. Let's change the ticker. There we are. And we've got our little video at the top there as well. If you want to buy it, how do you do it? Okay, in the pinned comment on YouTube, it will send you to... Actually, there's a few ways. Bear with me. You can go direct to our Amazon stream where you'll see our product carousel. So you'll see basically all the products that we've got available. But if you bear with me a moment, buddy... Let me see if I can sort this out for you. Because in the description below on YouTube, you'll see there's a list of each of the microphones. There should be anyway. Unless I've really cocked things up, which to be fair, I probably have, to be honest. So let me see if I can find the info for you. Was it the A6V you were looking at? Yeah, okay, so A6V, let me copy those, let me paste those into there. Okay, the info should be there, buddy. Thank you, Calvin. Absolute legend. The man is on fire. 
Yeah, so we are listening to our fine, fine A8 microphone. Now, another difference that we get between the two. Remember when we muted this one and we lose the functionality of the lights? We don't with this one. So on the top of the mic, you should be able to see the green light. If we press that, it goes red to say we are muted. But you can turn these lights off on that button on the back where we can toggle between the different lights. If we hold that down like that, we can turn the RGBs off if you don't want to use them. And if we hold the button back down, that will switch our lights back on. So that is your fine fine A8, which the legend that is Andy forgot to move it on his product carousel. Now I can't hear these side by side, so which one do we think sounds better out these two? So I will toggle between the two. So what you're listening to now is the Fine Fine A8. And what you're listening to now is the Fine Fine A6V. Now the A8 is currently $46.99. This one you're listening to right now is $34.99. So quite a saving. You do lose a couple of features and you get the additional feature on this one of the audio monitoring. But what do we think? So we'll do it one more time. You are listening to the cheaper one, the Fine Fine A6V. You are now listening to the Fine Fine A8, which is a little bit more expensive, but you do get those additional features. Sounds much better, but I prefer the look of the other one. There we are. Calvin has spoken. Which means we go back to our A6V. There we are. See, it's, I, honestly, I highly recommend that microphone. If you have not got yourself a mic and you need one, that is where I think people should be starting. Because the thing with this mic as well is even though that stand is a little bit flimsy, if you just spend like $20, maybe even cheaper, and get something like this, you basically transform this into a real heavy-duty microphone with some good audio. Or just mount it onto a boom arm. Bargain. Absolute bargain of a microphone. Now, let me show you one more. Now, have I got this switched on? I should have, because I've got the... There we are, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we've got ourselves another mic here, which is USB-C and XLR. And you get audio monitoring as well. Now, this is a dynamic microphone, which is very much like this one, which I will move out of shot. We don't want to get things confused. Now, like the previous microphone, we have some RGB lights on there where we can go through each of the individual colours. Or we've got the nice blended mode, which is there. Or you've got the one where it does the static colours, rotates through each of the static colours. We also get the volume controls for the audio monitoring and the gain. Your wind filter would look a lot better than mine because my cat's kind of chewed the life out of this. But those are replaceable. You can actually purchase a new one of these, which is something I need to do. So there is an extreme close-up. Go on, get in focus. Play the game. Oh, it's having a think. So there's an extreme close-up of your microphone capsule in there. Let's get the old wind filter back on. Now, the first test you will hear is through the USB connection. So let's give that a whirl. And here we are. You are listening to the Fine Fine AM8, which, did I put a tick for this? Could have swore that I did. Hmm. I did. Oh, that's what happens when you get old. You, oh, you start deceiving you. So yes, this is a dynamic microphone, which means that it should reject quite a bit of noise from the back of the microphone. Let me get my little white noise test on so you can have yourself a listen. So our best audio is going to come through this top part here. So let me get the old white noise test on and I can show you it in action. White noise test. Here we go. Now 
Okay, could you hear that? So anything through the top here is going to send the best. Anything from the back is going to do its very best to reject a lot of that noise. So if you're typing on the keyboard, it should remove quite a lot of that noise. And if you use any kind of filters in something like OBS, you can get some more noise reduction to actually eliminate that noise. And his ASMR. Yeah, do you know what? It's a good name for a channel noise. I should be doing that. Is it good for ASMR? We are now going to test this microphone using the XLR connection. That seems a little bit weird speaking like this now. Yeah, so what I will do is I will woo, break that microphone. I listen to it a lot. Do you know what? I listen to like doctor exams and it's... Do you know like the whispering? That's not what does it for me. I think it's more people looking for something. You know, like medical exams where they're kind of listening to like body noises and kind of checking knees. I like stuff like that. Same as in a library. Like I could go to a library and I used to like watch people in the library, like just look at books, pick books up and read the back. I used to feel really funny. It's like, oh, I like this. I don't seem to get that as much these days. But I do watch a lot of medical exams that have got ASMR in the title. And it's not so much the ASMR, I think it's like the background noise as well. You know, like the doctor exams when they're examining and you've got distant noise of like fans in the background. I quite like that. Sounds very weird. Should definitely do that ASMR. This is an ASMR test using the XLR connection on the Fivefine AM8 microphone. Is that the winner? I've done the usual thing of not moving it on the carousel either. Okay, so what you're listening to now is the XLR connection. Now it should sound quite different to the USB, mainly because my little mixing board, I've changed the equalization settings. We will lose the functionality of the mute button through XLR as well. But if you're using USB, that works perfect. And his new channel, ASMR. What can I talk about? I can talk about cats. I was searching for my cat today and she was hiding in the cupboard. Oh, do you know what? I've been feeding all the strays still. Oh, uh, one of them came in the other day. Started playing, just playing with toys. I've got a video. I need to find it. Yeah, I've, I've got an image here. Okay, so the, the black and white cat at the back, that is our cat. The black cat at the front is not ours. It's our neighbours. Decided to wander in and start playing with one of the toys. And there he is. Our neighbour's cat. Came in and started having a little play. Yes, I'm, I'm very weird. Like of an evening now, I'll normally go for a quick walk around the block and I'm carrying a tub of biscuits with me just to feed stray cats. And then that was our big cat who went outside the other day. But then we got very concerned because she heard a noise and then she jumped on a box. That's what happens when you get old. You forget words like box. Jumped on a box and then was looking at the fence to jump over the fence. It's like, whoa, hang on. Need to saw this out. But now nah, they're very nice. Those are actually both our cats. So the black cat at the bottom, that one is actually ours. So Luna on the top, Cinder on the bottom. And I've just bought them a new cat scratching post and they're loving it. And there's the, the white cat that I've been feeding. There he is, having a munch on some food. I think it's a girl, actually. Oh yeah, and that was our neighbour's cat in the cat tree in the bottom. So our cat's on top, that's our neighbour's at the bottom. Sticking his little head out. I should really do a cat channel, you know. Because <laughs> I like cats. But that is literally all my phone is now. Pictures of cats. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. I've got to show you that cat. That cat's beautiful. 
That one is Alfie. That is the cat that's had a stroke. So when it walks and comes up to you, like its head's kind of hanging on the side. Now when it comes on the doorstep and you bring food out, like it looks up and its head's like proper tilted. Beautiful cat. Beautiful Alfie. Yes, you should. We should do a cat channel. I don't even know what I would talk about on there. The only thing I'd probably would make sense is because I've got experience doing product reviews and stuff was maybe review cat products but the cat products I do I the videos I do they're on Amazon so if you're not aware and you you're kind of used to the YouTube stuff on our Amazon shop we've got reviews on products that are just not featured on YouTube so we do have some cat stuff on there and you can see our cats playing with toys and having a feed as well because we've got that automatic cat feeder on there God, it is so warm. Do you know, I'm not even... Oh, what is Andy doing here? I never even loaded up my my Amazon chat. Oh, my life, Andy, what are you doing? Yeah, so if there's people on Amazon and they've said anything in Amazon, I apologise. I didn't load my chat up. But do feel free to drop us a message. I promise I will respond now. I'll tell you what I can give you a sneak preview of as well. And what you feed certain cats, what your cats find. Like a, a vlogging channel of the cats could do that. I love the, oh, the cat brush is great. It really is. I don't know where I've put it. I think it's in the other room. But what I might do is actually use that cat brush to brush some of the stray cats outside. Because that white cat, I noticed the other day, it's got like bugs on it, like little tiny spiders. Now I'm not a spider fan, but um, I can't leave them like that. There we go, I've got a little video in the top corner as well of our AMAs. But yeah, that brush is great, it really is. Now I did have a quick look at the new cat scratching pulse that I bought the other day to see if it was available in the US to create a video, but I couldn't find it. But they seem to quite like it. Get another brush. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I've actually got a flea comb as well. But I'm I'm not too sure how well the stray cats would actually do with that. I think they would start trying to trouble on my hands. But we'll see. I might do it. I might do it at some point. I was going to get up and grab some... Oh, wait, that's what I was going to grab. Bear with me. A sneak peek. Yeah, I will get another brush. I've actually got another brush. It's not one of those ones where you push the back and the fur comes out. Just a, a normal brush. So I might use that because we tend not to use that with our cats. Okay, a sneak peek into something pretty, uh, pretty beefy to be fair. Now, this is a camera which is for video conferencing so not really for any kind of streaming anything like that it's mainly aimed at people in the work environment so if you do like a zoom call and you need to get everybody on the zoom call very difficult on one camera to kind of squeeze everyone in but this one let's move him out the way it takes time to build trust yeah i mean the the white cat was like really scared very hissy would swipe and try and bite you i think i'm a best friend now like she she literally lives in that little chicken pen we've got outside so every time i go outside she's usually asleep in there so if we look at the top of this here this has got four cameras around the top so this is a beefy bit of kit now I've not got it set up ready to show you what the camera looks like, so it's a quick run through of what we got here. Now it comes with four inbuilt microphones which are on the top. Let's see if I can point one out. So can you see this little hole there? There's one down there, one down here, one up there. We get four microphones. We get a 360 degree speaker as well. So if you don't want to do video calls but you'd like to listen to some music while you're waiting for a call, you can actually play it through this. 
funky looking thing sneak preview mate we have the controls on the front as well where we can mute the mic we can control the speaker volume up and down now this has four different video modes which once the video is complete you'll see all those but i'll i'll give you a quick rundown on what it can do there's a mode, if I remember right, was presentation mode. Basically, it's a full screen mode of view, a little bit like this camera now. But when we walk around, it switches from one camera to another to keep you in the shot. If you walk too fast, it kind of loses you, but it does detect you again. We've got another mode where if you're in a meeting, let's say you've got 10 people in a meeting, it will actually pick out four of the speakers split the screen so the four speakers are at the top now i do need to test that um i need to get some people to test that with because that's what's kind of slowing the video down for this we have another mode where the camera's on you actually let's go to this mode first we've got a 360 mode where basically splits the screen in two so you see basically two of the cameras at the top, two of the cameras at the bottom. So you've got a full 360 degree view. No tracking on that. And the other mode is like a teacher, a teacher, teacher presentation mode where you can basically be teaching the class. You can see the class on the other screen at the bottom. So it's, it's quite a beefy bit of kit. Now, it's not cheap. This is currently... $577.42 so it is an expensive bit of kit so it's not something that like everyday streamers are going to be using it is meant for like office workers where you do have a lot of these video calls now it powers through USB-C and you do need the power pack plugged in at the same time as well I know a lot of devices power through USB-C this is not one of them. You need the additional power supply plugged in, which you do get in the box. You can mount this onto a tripod as well. You've got a mounting hole on the bottom. And that is probably about as much as I can show you at the moment. So there's your physical dimensions. I will, do you know, I can probably quickly fire up the, the website. My Pivo Totem 3. 60 so i can show you a quick overview of what it does a good sneak peek i kind of wish i had it all plugged in so i could show you the different modes it is mainly for zoom and teams and stuff like that you can do it in obs but like i say it's not really meant for kind of streaming but here is the here is the website so you can get all these views on there so you can literally see everyone around the table you've got the four microphones so no matter where you're sitting around the table you can speak you're going to come through consistently same with the speaker 360 degree speaker so wherever you sit audio will come through clear but these are the modes here so conferencing mode you'll see it's got four speakers on top so it's supposed to pick out the people who are speaking and put them at the top of the screen so round mode, that's your 360 mode, so that doesn't track or basically pinpoint any person. You just see everybody on the call. Hybrid learning mode, which is where we can see all our students at the bottom of the screen, teacher on the top screen. Presentation mode is the full screen mode where it will attempt to track you as you walk around. So it is a, a serious bit of kit, got a security slot as well. So if you're scared about it getting robbed, you can actually kind of clamp it down and keep it secure compatible with pretty much everything that you want it to be compatible with so as i say it is meant for businesses so we will get this all sorted soon but like i say just getting people to be on camera to actually showcase this is proving a little bit difficult but hopefully we'll get it all sorted soon let me put him back on the shelf